inside the Arizona Republican AZ Central Newsroom. I'm Richard Rellis here with columnist Bob Robb. Bribery <laughs> has become the term of art. Where do you think this springs from? Well, there's been reporting as to where it springs from, um, and it's not from evaluating the evidence and, and uh, somberly uh, contemplating what the appropriate impeachment charge is. Uh, it issues from focus groups that the uh, Democrats have been conducting, and, and they found that describing it as they previously did, and I think accurately, uh, as a quid pro quo that amounted to an abuse of power, um, that bribery polled a lot better than quid pro quo. So sort of like synchronized swimmers, all the Democrats turned and all of a sudden it's bribery. And I just don't think that fairly describes what happened. Well, and I guess when this, when this inquiry started, when the, rest, when the story started coming out, part of the appeal of this narrative was its simplicity. And I guess the simplicity is still there, but the gravity of it needed to be weighed, do you think? It's, it's rank partisan calculation. Um, the American people aren't jumping to the idea of getting rid of a president because of abuse of power and a quid pro quo. Um, but they might be more receptive to getting rid of him for bribery. Uh, and so they're trying to fit the evidence to what their polling indicates is the most more potent um, political charge. And that's plain politics. That's not truly exercising conscientiously um, your solemn constitutional duty about impeaching and removing a president. Yeah, decades ago, I think most people know this, you used to be a public affairs guy. You, you ran mm -hmm. focus groups. Uh, do you see the appeal of waiting to see what the political winds might be, what voters might say before you act in this dimension? Not on, not on this. I mean, there, there's no more important and solemn duty uh, that the Congress of the United ha States has, other than potentially declaring war, to impeach and remove a president. You should follow the evidence. You shouldn't be trying to fit the evidence to what your polling says is a more acceptable charge. And we'll see if the hearings sway the polls, sway the politicians, and ultimately lead to a, to a vote on this.